dear students the next explain why topic is compensatory pause occurs after extra systole all junctional tissues are capable of generating impulses for example sa node av node bundle of hays parking the fiber all of them they can generate impulse as they are the junctional tissues now there is a term or phenomenon known as pacemaker hierarchy sa node is the pacemaker because its region is fastest that is 70 bits per 70 to 80 bits per minute after that avn or av node its bit rate is 50 to 60 bits per minute for the parkinji fiber it is around 30 to 40 bits per minute if sa node fails to produce impulse then av node becomes the pacemaker and the heart rate instead of becoming 70 to 80 it will re be reduced to the level of 50 to 60 if av node fails then the bundle of fees they will take the charge and there will be further uh, stooping down of the heart rate if the bundle of fees fails then the parking the system will take the charge and further uh, reduction of the rate will occur so this phenomenon is called the hierarchy of pacemakers under normal circumstances the heart beats at regular intervals now if a heart beat occurs prematurely before the usual timing it is called the extra systole suppose there is an ectopic focus at the ventricle we know that all these tissues they are capable of generating impulses so if there is an ectopic focus here so that will happen just after the impulse from the that is coming from sa node so this extra impulse is known as the extra systole it will cause an extra systole now premature beats that originate in an ectopic ventricular focus so this ectopic foci may be at the atrium may be at the septum but when it is ventricular so what will happen in the ecg you will see that there will be a bizarrely shaped prolonged qrs complex there will be a bizarrely shaped prolonged qrs complex because of the slow spread of impulse from the focus through the ventricular muscle and to the rest of the ventricle but this impulse it is incapable of exciting the bundle branch so this ectopic focus will cause a slow impulse uh, generation in the ventricular muscle wall but they are incapable of exciting the bundle of fees and as a result of that the retrograde conduction to the atria it does not occur so there will be no reentry phenomena so atrium is not be retrogradely stimulated because this impulse is very weak so we will get a bizarre qrs complex in the ecg now when the next succeeding normal uh, sa nodal impulse will come so it will generate or it will depolarize the uh, atria and the p wave will be generated but this p wave you cannot see in the ecg because it will be buried into the into this bizarre qrs complex of the extra systole now this wave when it will try to depolarize the ventricle it will see that the ventricles they are still in the refractory period following the depolarization on the ectopic focus so this next normal sa nodal impulse will not be able to generate depolarization in the ventricle and there will be no contraction now the very next or the second succeeding impulse so first impulse is not conducted in the ventricle now the second succeeding impulse from the sa node 
it will form a normal bit. You can see this. It will form a normal bit. Here this is the normal bit. The interval between. Now this is the normal bit and this is the previous normal bit. In between we have this extrasystole. So the interval between the extrasystole and the post extrasystolic bit. This is longer. And this is known as the compensatory pause. So why there will be compensatory pause? Because when the normal impulse, it will reach the ventricle, the ventricles are still in the refractory period following depolarization of the ectopic focus. So the atria is depolarized, but the P wave is buried into this desire QRS complex. So in the next uh, normal impulse from the SA node is not conducted. And next to next or the second succeeding impulse from SA node will form or will produce a normal bit like this. And the gap between this extrasystole and the post extrasystolic bit is longer and this is known as compensatory pause. Why it is happening? Because one bit is missed. One bit is not conducted to ventricle because it found ventricle in the refractory period. So students, this explains why there will be compensatory pause after extrasystole. Thank you and subscribe.